Today I'm going to be greasing the bearings on the Y-axis for my Prusa clone that's already been assembled. Stay tuned. So in this video I want to go over something that I should have done when I built this, but I didn't, and that is pack the bearings. This is a Prusa Mark III S clone from Feistech. It has the bear upgrade. I built this a couple of weeks ago and I haven't really used it all that much, but since I didn't pack the bearings with grease before I built it, I need to do that now. I really want to do the bed. That's what I'm going to do today. And I want to do that with uh, the least amount of disassembly. I'm thinking that I can uh, just remove the Y-axis uh, idler, lift the whole thing up, remove the rods, and then grease the bearings. I'll be using this. This is a Super Lube number 21030 and I've got the 90 degree applicator on it, which should help. I should be able to get it in there a little bit easier than trying to go straight in. First thing I'm gonna do is raise the Z up. I already have the power off. Had I been thinking ahead of time, I would have just raised this up before I turned it off. Now that that's out of the way, I'll reduce the tension on the Y axis belt. It should be enough. And then I'm just gonna remove the idler in the front here. Just remove the whole assembly. There's a bolt on the underside as well. We'll just set that aside. Now we'll cut the zip ties that hold the rods in place. And remove those. And we'll get the ones in the back as well. Now the bed is the bed is completely free. So now I'm just going to carefully pull these out of the holders. They're in there kind of tight. Now I should just be able to carefully raise this up and very gently pull the rod out. We'll pull the other one out carefully. And now I should just be able to turn it over and just kind of set it in there. I can see where the bearings are in here. They're running at a 45 degree from the plate. They all are, which was the way that it was instructed to be. So I should be able to take our grease with the 90 degree, slide it in there, just so that it's almost perpendicular. Give it a squeeze. And I can see it coming out the front. That looks pretty good. Now I'll just do the other two. Now we'll just take paper towel, kind of clean up any of the, anything that came out. And we should be good to go. So while I have these out, I'm gonna go ahead, just kind of wipe them off a little bit very gently push them back in. You can see the grease on the ends. Just kind of run them back and forth. Maybe twist it gently side to side. They're not supposed to run that way, but just to make sure that grease gets in there. And we'll do the same for this one. Flip it back around, keeping track of your Y belt. Set the rods back down into the holders, making sure everything is in place, that our belt isn't in the way of anything, and then we'll push the rods back down. Just like that. Make sure the bed moves freely. This is much better than what it was. Let's take our belt, make sure that it's flat, straight. Wrap it around our motor gear. Reach in, grab the idler assembly. Making sure everything is straight. I'm just going by feel here. You can feel that we're all nice and straight in there. Now we'll go ahead and tighten this back down. 
I don't want to tighten it all the way just yet. I want to adjust it so that it's riding somewhere in the middle. And right there looks just about right. So I'm going to tighten it down and then we will tighten the bottom one. Now we will tighten up the belt. It certainly doesn't make any noise, at least not the chunky noises that it was making before. And now we'll add the zip ties back to the rods. Now eventually I would like to get the upgraded rod holders, which have a, a cap on top of them that hold the rods in with two screws rather than using zip ties. But that's an upgrade for another day. That takes care of those bearings anyway. Uh, I did notice that there's still some grease left on the rods. Um, I'll get that cleaned up. We really only need the grease to be in the bearings. They don't have to be directly on the rods. And I'll probably have to clean these up a few times until all the grease gets settled. So a fairly simple operation. The only thing I have left to do now is I will more than likely run uh, Z calibration since I did have the bed, I was messing around with the bed. And then I also need to clean up the PEI sheet because I've got my greasy piles all over it. The moral of the story is pack the bearings before you assemble the printer, although it's not really that bad to do it afterwards. I still have the bearings in the Z axis to do, and I really should do the ones in the X axis as well. And I'll do those on another day.